Hello everyone, welcome to another Pen Thoughts video. So today we're actually going to be looking at this modern fountain pen. This is the Pelican M400 in the tortoise brown. And next to it we have its older sibling. This is a Pelican 400 from the 1950s. And I just wanted to bring this one into the mix just so that you can see how similar they are. And this is something that I actually really love. Um, sometimes companies, um, their, their products grow and change and evolve as the company grows and matures. And that's, you know, all well and good. But I also just love the stick to of the Pelican. They have this design that really works and they have streamlined it just a little bit here and there but it's kind of like one of those if it ain't broken why fix it kind of things and they they designed one of my absolute favorite pens i love the pelican pen so much um and for for so many different reasons but it it so it just i find it really charming that they are so similar and there's a lot of time that has passed in between these two the biggest difference, I'll just show you real quick, is the design of the nib itself. Although it still has a very similar shape. And I, I just love that nib. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this little baby away and take a close-up look at this M400. So on the finial here, we have the Mama Pelican and the Baby Pelican. And I think because this bird or this pen is inspired by a bird, I like it even more because I do really love animals. And so to have so many different things that are really reminiscent of an animal is just really endearing. And honestly, pelicans, in my opinion, are one of the coolest birds ever. It has this clip here that looks like a pelican's beak. The f shape of the feed and the nib itself also kind of has, looks like the pelican beak in profile. And actually, maybe more so in this vintage one. which also has the mama and baby bird on the finial. So this is a piston filler pen, which I really love. Uh, I carry my fountain pens everywhere and I write a lot. And so having a pen that can carry a lot of ink has actually become really important to me. And I'm, I, I use the cartridge or the cartridge converter pens way less these days than I do my piston fillers. I like to just not have to worry about it for a while. And this one I can get two to three weeks on a fill with consistent writing every day. Not only is this little bird beak adorable, it's also one of the most functional clips that I have. I love this clip because I never have to fuss with it. Because of that little scoop up, it just slides so easily onto any surface. And I just really appreciate that because sometimes like with the Twisby, for example, um, I actually have to lift it up to clip it onto something. You know, this clip works great, but this is just easy. <laughs> love that. So this is probably one of my favorite clip designs. I really love this cap band here. Uh, the materials used feel very solid and, and substantial. And often one of the things that happens a lot with pens, um, because, or at least w with the pens that screw on, um, they can crack around here. There's a lot of, a lot of, you know, pressure here. And if you over crank or if you're in the habit of tightening your cap a lot, you'll get these little stress, stress fractures. I have them on some of my vintage fountain pens. I have them even on my Pilot Custom and on 
a lot of sailor pens. Uh, but I feel like that's just not going to happen with this particular pen because of where this cap band is located. It's right there at the bottom and I, I think that's a really nice design element. You also see that in the Twisby, by the way. I just how, love how simple and straight and square everything is. I, I like just this very simple block lettering around the cap band. I like the the double banding as well. It's classy, but not too decorated and fancy. Same on this end. This is just such a classy pen. It's also the perfect size for my hand, both posted and unposted. And one time I made a video about this, and this is just a hunch. I don't know if this is actually true or not. Uh, but there's this little step down, and I thought that was really strange for such a well-designed pen to not be completely flush. And I decided that they did that intentionally, the designers intentionally made that step down so that when you cap or post your pen, it doesn't turn the piston knob, which has happened before with my Twisby fountain pen. Although this thing is so big anyways, you really, <laughs> it's just like a gigantic pen if you post it. And I think this new design doesn't do that. The old, it was the older Twisbees that did that. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, I think this step down was an intentional design. So right now I have this pen inked up with Robert Oster Khaki. And this is a Tomoe River, Tomoe River paper notebook that always is a tongue twister for me. Uh, so to be fair, this is not a great writing sample simply because this is an accursive italic grind that uh, custom ground from Dan at thenibsmith.com. And that is just my go-to with the Pelicans because even though they are my absolute favorite pen and almost everything about them is perfect. Uh, the, the nibs tend to be to write out a fatter line than what I can handle with my tiny handwriting. Even the extra fines are unfortunately too large for my penmanship, uh, which is why there's some Pelicans in my collection that I haven't been using a lot lately. Uh, and my dream is to have them custom ground as well. So cursive italic works really well. This is an extra fine um, that was then ground into a, a cursive italic, which is a, a stub nib and it's, it makes it really slicey. And um, just, I really enjoy it. It actually makes the cursive really interesting. They tend to be extremely juicy writers, regardless of whether or not they're ground, um, they just put down a lot of ink. And I think that's part of why the line is, is so fat. So anyways, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.